Kick, kick away the number six furlongs, 11 to 8 of the off. And I thought the Mike pace uh, could come from Schmooze, runs the rail, embassy of 5 to 2. And indeed it is Schmooze that's doing the work. Uh, that shows the way to Nadbois sitting in second here and Mandy racing third. In a prominent position, Cape Verde, the light blue cap, red cap, is Miss Saphonic. The Mactoon family strongly represented in the Shadwell Stud Cheveley Park. And uh, running the rail in the Godolphin blue, it's Schmooze that uh, leads. Red cap going fast, Miss Saphonic on the outside is here and Mandy. Behind the striped cap, Nabwar, Embassy, the filly with the noseband, runs the rail, gets a bit closer. Cape Verde is uh, poised, and John Reed will have to come wide on her. Behind these, Royal Shyness and Crazy Mental are the two back markers, and they're past halfway. Quickly come down to the two furlong markers. Still Schmooze attacking on the rails. Cape Verde is on the wide outside, the light blue cap. Plenty to do. Here, Amanda's getting closer now. They're punching. Uh, Embassy's in behind horses. We'll have to find a magic path to win. They come down to the final furlong and schmooze the rail. Here comes Embassy weaving through. Oh, the Wizard Fallon's found another run. And on the outside, it's uh, Crazy Metal finishing well. But it's all over. It's Embassy, Crazy Metal, and Royal Shyness for places up towards the line. Embassy takes it. Embassy, Crazy Metal, another big run. Back in third place at Royal Shyness. Then we had uh, Cape Verde followed by here, Amanda. Schmooze was last of all. Miss Zephonic last but one, Nadwa last but two, and so the outcome of this Shadwell Stud, Chievely Park Stakes, they were bunching with uh, a furlong and a bit to go, and uh, Kieran Fallon once again weaved his magic spell to bring this fight for two chance embassy to win, and then quickened away in quite impressive fashion. Second horse home is Crazy Mental, the colours of Mr Hugh O'Donnell have uh, done well here, so too Pontypridd trainer David De Derek Hayden-Jones of the Darrell Holland, Third horse home is number seven, Royal Shyness. Well done to the Hubbard team, Jeff Lewis and Paul Eddery. But that's our winner. That's the close-up shot of champion jockey elect Kieran Fallon. He sat, he waited, and uh, as John Frankham pointed out earlier in the programme, when you're riding with confidence, the gaps just seem to come. And the whole pack of cards came his way. And he's trumped them yet again with embassy. Well, I was delighted to see her win. God, she was unlucky at uh, at York. And a couple of reminders from Kieran Fallon just to keep her mind on the job, keep her running forwards. And how could you equate the form of uh, York with this? Just a short head between her and Kate Verdi today. Peter Chappelheim's filly can't sight her with radar. And I think uh, the Godolphin team that have bought her just wondering whether they played a little bit over the odds I should imagine at this point and I think Robert Sanctuary can fairly contain contain his mirth but uh, that can all change but for today it's another Sheikh Mohammed horse and Embassy who win the day two really good runs from Crazy Mental and also the eventual third Royal Shyness well any, any worries as to Lack of pace was soon dispelled. They went a good gallop. They're both towards the rear of the field, but whereas Kieran got uh, a beautiful passage through, the gaps came for him at the right time. He got there first, and I think initially uh, Daryl Holland was hoping he might get the same gap, but Kieran gets there first. Watch now on Daryl Holland on Crazy Mental. He just takes a slight check, but he has to go round and loses a little bit of momentum. Not much in fairness, just how quickly Embassy goes through that gap. And the other filly on the far side going round Cape Verde now has had to go sideways a little bit and powering away. You can't say she's unlucky, such is the authority with which uh, Embassy has won, but she would have been that little bit close. 